Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here, and welcome to the Canon EOS R5 and R6 video training series. The purpose of this series is to focus on the video-specific features of the cameras. And in this particular video, we're gonna be talking about both the R5 and the R6, and the IBIS, or in-body image stabilizer features of those cameras, so let's go. Let's jump into the in-body image stabilizer features or IBIS features of the R5 and the R6. We're gonna jump into shoot seven in the first set of menus in the camera. And so we can see our IS image stabilizer mode in the camera. Now, before I jump into that, I wanna take a look at with this RF native mount 85 millimeter lens, what our field of view is with this lens and you can see that. We don't have cropping applied or anything like that. So there's our field of view, and then we're gonna go into our options, and because we don't have IS built into the lens, we'll see this first option, IS mode. So we're gonna jump inside of here, and we're gonna turn on our IS mode, and when we take a look now at our field of view, we can see that it is identical with this lens attached to the camera, and that'll be the same on the R6 as well. Now, in addition to IS mode, with a lens that doesn't have IS built in, we can add a digital IS to the image. And this is gonna be an additional level of image stabilization. And if we take a look at the field of view, we will see that it is slightly cropped for that digital IS. And then going in again, we can see that we have also an option for enhanced, which is cropping even more into the image when you have extreme shake when you're shooting with the camera. Now, when you turn the IS mode off, you'll see that the digital IS gets turned off as well. So they do work in conjunction with each other in this type of setup. Now, what I'm gonna do is swap out this 85 millimeter lens with this 24 to 105 and talk to you about IS when we do that. So we now have the 24 to 105 on here which has IS built into the lens, and currently I have that turned off on the lens. So we're gonna go into the menu, and we're gonna go into our image stabilizer mode. The first change you'll see is there's no IS mode option inside of here, there's just digital IS. And when we go into this menu, whether we're turning that digital IS on or to the enhanced option, you'll see this little message, which basically is telling us that we have to turn the IS on on the lens, so it can detect that. We turn it on, the message goes away, and then when I select that and we take a look at the field of view, you'll see that it's slightly cropped. And this is very similar to what we had before with the 85, but with the 85, we're using the in-body image stabilizer along with the digital IS. In this situation, we're using the lens's IS along with the digital IS. And we'll jump in here and just take a look at how the field of view changes with the digital IS set to enhanced, and you can see that as well. So we'll go in here and we'll turn that off. And again, this is all based on practice and testing and finding out what is working for you in your productions. Very oftentimes, I won't use the digital IS inside of the camera unless I absolutely have to and I'll rely upon the in-body image stabilizer or the IS on the lens, depending on what I'm using with the camera. And so if we're using a Canon EF to RF mount adapter, the same thing is gonna be true for the R5 and the R6. If the lens, this happens to be a 24 to 105, has image stabilization as part of the lens itself, then you're gonna see the same options we were just looking at. If you put a lens on here that is EF mount that does not have IS, we will see that IS mode show up again inside of the camera. Now there's one other thing I wanna show you, which has to do with using vintage lenses and lenses that do not pass data to the camera system. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, now we have the R6 here and we have an EF to RF mount adapter. This happens to be the one that you can drop a clear filter or the very ND into, which makes it extremely usable, not only for these types of lenses, but of course, if you're adapting your EF mount lenses to the R5 or the R6. 
And what I have is a very vintage lens here. It's a 55 millimeter lens. And we're gonna go into the menu and we're gonna see some things that are a little bit different. The first thing that we're gonna see is we are gonna see that IS mode again. So we're gonna be able to go in there and turn that on. So we're gonna get that in-body image stabilizer. And again, no contacts here. So this is a manual adapter. I'm going, in this case, OM to EF, the EF to RF mount adapter and I can actually still use the image stabilizer. And then I do have my options here for the digital IS inside of the camera. And then we'll see this additional menu show up here. I can put the focal length of the lens I'm using in here so I can actually tell the camera what the focal length is and it will apply the correct IBIS or in-body image stabilization to the image that is being captured. Now, as I said before, it really is gonna come down to you using these features with the lenses that you're using in your productions. You will find sometimes that the IS on the lens or the IBIS in the camera body is exactly what you need. Sometimes there may be a look that you want, especially if you're going really wide or long on the lens where you don't wanna use image stabilization at all. And then there's gonna be certain situations where you may have to dig into that digital IS and use that on top of your lenses IS or the IBIS built into the camera. That's an overview of the in-body image stabilizer features in both the R5 and R6 cameras. And hopefully that will help you using these cameras in your productions. The goal here is always education. So I hope you learned something in this video. Thanks for watching.